guys, my name is Nori and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing an unhaul, which y'all know I love to do. And the reason why I'm doing an unhaul is because I want to have books on my shelf that I either absolutely adored really enjoyed or I'm super excited to read and I was glancing at my bookshelves and I was doing the cookie jar a couple weeks ago and I was like oh lord please let me not pick that cookie lord please let me not pick that book and I'm like well shoot I shouldn't be doing that because like I should like every single book on my shelf and I realized that I don't like every single book on my shelf which <laughs> It happens sometimes your reading tastes have changed or for whatever reason I'm gonna get rid of all these books some of them may be uh, kind of old and not a big of a deal but we got some controversial things going out aka three books I want to say it's just three books maybe four books y'all just stick around to see what the tea is about but yeah so before we get into the book unhauling thing there's a couple things that I want to mention one that I do sell my books on Depop so I'm gonna link everything down below so if there's a book that you really want go ahead and buy it because I sell them and two if this is one of your favorite authors or if you like this book don't take it offense again this is my bookshelf and i don't want it so <laughs> yeah so without further ado we're gonna jump into this unhaul so the first book that i have here it is a million little pieces by james frey and i picked this up on goodwill sorry for the shine I picked this up on Goodwill. One, it's like a floppy paperback, and you know I absolutely love floppy paperbacks. And two, this book deals with um, a 23-year-old who has addiction to drugs, and this is his recovery process, and I thought that this would be super interesting. But when I did a little bit more digging, this is a 2005 release, and uh, this was part of Oprah's book club, and this book was originally published as non-fiction but it turns out that the author yes he was dealing with addictions but some of the stories here are not even real which disqualifies it as a non-fiction and turns it into a fiction which turned into a huge controversy and as soon as i opened up the book because i i wanted to check it out there is literally a note to the reader from the author and then there's a publisher's note saying we are so sorry that there was a huge misunderstanding and we had to talk to the publishers and we had to talk to the author and I'm just like I picked this up because I wanted to read a non-fiction book with accurate representation and it turns out that the author was just looking for a dime and thank god I bought it off of Goodwill for like 50 cents but still I don't want this in my collection no tea no shade but this is an oprah's book club pick and we're in 2020 and oprah still can't stay away from her controversial books what does that mean who knows okay so i lied so maybe there is five controversial books and all of these books are by one author and this is where the controversy starts because um this is a very loved a very popular author on that book too and has been for a long time but there was some tea and all the shade with this author and a lot of people did not want to pick up her books but I still try to pick it up I picked up four of her books I have not read one and uh, I don't like this author's writing and uh, <laughs> Rainbow Rowell oh yeah we're talking about this so <laughs> I'm gonna go by I don't know I guess my favorite book of hers which is a graphic novel obviously and it is a pumpkin heads by Rainbow Rowell and Faith Erin Hicks the only reason why I gave this a three stars is because I really enjoyed the art style but if it was for Rainbow Rowell's writing it is a chaotic mess and I did not like it but the art style is so cute like come on it's so cute so i was like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and purchase it to give it a try i did not like the story but i like the art style but i don't want this in my collection i don't i don't care how pretty it is i don't want it 
the next one i don't want to talk about it too much because <laughs> woo, I, i'll start ranting up in here but like again i don't want to talk about this book <laughs> i'll talk about it on my wrap up and this was one of my cookie jar picks for this month and um i already read it and i have a lot of thoughts y'all first of all the book is gorgeous like it it's absolutely gorgeous like come on look at that beautiful art like the book is gorgeous the content inside of it trash oh i don't want to talk about it the other book that i gave like a 2.5 out of 5 stars is um fangirl again same author beautiful book gorgeous 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 book and this was like a cult classic I get that this was like a new adult you know it showed a main character who started college and has dealt with anxiety I get the representation but this book was not good <laughs> I gave it a 2.5 out of 5 stars it wasn't anything special I hated the ending you know it's just typical rainbow rowl writing style which I figured out that I hate so it's gonna go away and then and next it is carry on by rainbow rowl i bought this book because it was like a parody of harry potter and the whole booktube was hyping about it and then the second book came out and i love the cover and i'm never going to read it plus there are like snippets of uh this book and fangirl which is the parts that i skipped so why did i buy this book I don't know y'all all i know is that i'm going to be getting rid of all of the rainbow rowl books on my shelf and i am not sorry about it so if you do want to buy any of these books they're gonna be on my depop and good riddance not sorry next book we have uh, the book jumper by mitch field glacier i read this this year and i gave it a three out of five stars there's nothing wrong with this book it just wasn't anything special or that i have read before so basically this is a ya retelling of the magic tree house if that makes any sense that's why i picked it up and plus mm, this cover is absolutely gorgeous plus it has the deckled edges which goes perfectly with the cover again this combo is beautiful but three out of five stars there's nothing wrong with this book i just eh. so every time i look at this book i just be like meh so i want to look at my shelves and be like meh so um i decided to get rid of it hopefully somebody else absolutely loves this book there are some people on goodreads that have given this a four out of five stars maybe i am an unpopular opinion but this is not gonna stay on my shelves and i will not be continuing on with this duology i think it's a duology if not it's uh just a series either way i'm not gonna read it next book we have is one plus one equals blue by mj ouch i try to look this up on goodreads and um now she goes by mary jane ouch so yeah um besides this having a 3.3 something on goodread which is pretty low i picked this up on a book outlet because i don't know i thought it looked kind of convincing or it sounded kind of convincing plus i really like the cover and i have to stop buying books because of the cover <sighs> but i am not going to read this i heard that this has a, a couple of problematic aspects and honestly I don't know I don't know if I don't know if it's just 2020 but books that have too many problematic aspects for me tend to make me go into reading slump because I get angry just like a book that we're not gonna mention so I don't want to go on a reading slump I want to keep continuing on reading eight plus books a month and this book is not gonna do it for me and it's one of those books where i'm just like oh i really don't want to pick this up in the cookie jar because i don't really care so if i don't care i'm gonna be getting rid of it if you want to read it or if you enjoy it that's great but not for me next book we have it is children of eden by joey Gracefa. i'm pretty sure that this is a joey as a like a popular youtube 
a creator and um i did not it still has the target sticker but i did not get this book on tar at target i only got it for like a dollar and i was like sure let me read it and the cover is really cool too but like am i gonna read it no and do i know anything about this book no i know that this is a dystopian dystopian book it says earth has been poisoned and dead all the animals and most of the plants have been destroyed but a brilliant scientist has saved a pocket of civilization and it runs off this massive computer and there's an illegal child who's been hiding away in the compound and now she wants to save the world and you know it's gonna bring some trouble so kind of sounds pretty cool but then i'm not gonna read it so i'm gonna give it to somebody who actually has been wanting to read this book for years and instead of collecting dust in my bookshelves so yeah and this is another controversial whoo and i dropped it this book it is a somewhat of a controversial book and it is wild beauty by anna marie mclemore uh they published this book i want to say not too long ago and a lot of people love their writing and i was like you know what they're latinx i need to support and then i picked this book up and i did not care for the characters the writing is extremely flowery all puns intended but honestly i thought that it was too flowery for me and i was just this was another cookie jar pick and it was like pulling teeth because every time i looked at the book i'm like mm, i don't want to read you i'm sorry you're beautiful i love you but i don't want to read you and i cannot keep books because of the pretty cover i cannot <laughs> so i am going to be you know giving this away and hopefully somebody's excited to read this and uh, yeah <laughs> And the last and final book, we have uh, The Confessions of an Ugly Stepsister by Gregory Maguire. I got this on Goodwill a while back and um, it's pretty much like what happens to a stepsister after the Cinderella story and it had a lot of political intrigue and I was like ooh because you know I love me a good retelling and uh, I was like you know what let's let's get it and it was like 50 cents and I was like yeah sure let's do it and then it's been sitting on my bookshelves and every time I look at it I'm just like mm, I kind of don't want to read you so I've been holding on to this I guess for the next unhaul video which here we are but yeah I'm not going to read this I have to be honest with myself I'm not gonna read this so there it is I'm gonna get rid of it all right y'all and that is the end of this book on haul if you like this video make sure to like and comment if you liked any of these authors do let me know down below <laughs> i'm sorry i don't mean to offend anybody but i'm just gonna keep it real so yeah do hit that little bell next to the subscription so you get to know when i do upload my videos which i trying to do two to three times a week but you know i'm not gonna set a date because then i'm gonna feel like a failure if i don't do it and booktube is supposed to be fun for me so that's the reason why i don't put like monday through whatever i just upload whenever i can but usually it's two videos but i've been doing like three a week i'm rambling on thank you so much for watching this channel and thank you for your love and support and your likes and your watches and your subscribes too uh, thank you again and i will see you next time bye